first you need to download some storm style music you can search in youtube or any music place storm free music and download your background music then import into premiere now you need to create a new sequence and import and import the sound into a premiere timeline and this is your bgm for your intro and next and next if you press the m key on the keyboard you can add a marker in timeline because we need to marker in the uh, based on the beats so just play and press the m when beats came so just press the spacebar and hit the m key in your keyboard as per your sounds i just adjust and now you need to import your photos or background videos into premiere and next i just drag into timeline and set the duration as per the beats uh, because this is our first intro first uh, i mean the first slide now insert a text because i am using premiere pro cc 2018 this is the uh, updated version of the premiere because you can see here into because you can see that type tool in your toolbar if you use the older version you can go to file and new create a new title and also i just use the essential graphics to control the text and change the font next uh, just to split your text as per your audio and next bit here so just to control k for split and there is another bit so just select the text and press control k now and edit your text you can edit it separately and go to select the type tool and click on the type now your base intro is okay first part is okay if you press space bar you can see the preview next you need to select the old text and and next this text and name into text one and also nest the photo because if you want to change your photo or change your videos just double click on this nest and replace your photo in inside of this nest and next you need to control your uh, scale of this text and image so i just create a new adjustment layer and just name rename this property the name property into scale and and next adjust the duration as per your beats and also apply the transform property because if you want to control the scale using the effects you must apply the transform property so i just searching the transform i think it's in distort window so i just apply the transform into the adjustment layer i 
adjust it because if you control the motion scale you cannot get the result so you must apply the transform effects and control the scale you can control the scale in here so at the end is 100 add a keyframe and starting just increase the scale value I just put into 135 and select the keyframe and make it base here because we want a smooth animation and if you drop down the scale you can control the graph of this base here so I just make it a, a ease in and ease out uh, because I want a smooth animation and control your graph like this because and make the keyframe at the starting and ending adjust the position of this keyframe it's not perfect because our image is too uh, enlarged so i just uh, go to the nested file and make the photos into uh, just a scale size and now i want to create another i want the starting of this text is bigger so dra just a drag and drop adjustment layer into texture one on the top of the texture one and also apply the transform property into this first text add a keyframe and keyframe it here so go to the first keyframe and just increase the text and make it if you come to the main sequence you can see like this i think the first okay you need to control the position value also so i just keyframe it here and keyframe it starting I think your first your first step is okay. Now oh, I just increase the scale. I think only support the three hundred value in scale properties and. Now select the old keyframe and right click on this keyframe and make it base here. So we make it base here. So you can control the graph of this base here again. Okay. Now our first step is okay now you want to create the same process again 
again again as per your sound beats so thing is okay now you need to go to your second photos so or second video into timeline go to photos and drag into your second image into timeline and split as for your audio and make it next change the name into photo 2 i just scroll close this photo bin and go to text form and just control c and control v on main sequence because you want to create the same text so just copy paste the old text into the new timeline and just increase the scale and again you need to cut uh, sorry you just copy the scale uh, adjustment there because if you want to if you use this type this style uh, if you use the adjustment layer you don't need to create the again you don't need to create scale again again in every steps so it is easy to use so just drag and drop uh, by pressing alt you can copy the adjustment layer and make it top of this whole layer now I just decrease the quality of this preview next day, again cut your text as per your sound beats and change your text Now your second part is okay. So select the I think it's okay. So I just yeah I select this text and nest again and change name into text two because it's a second slide. Now import your third image or video into timeline and split again. And I think just copy your text. I just scale into frames in this photo and go to the text window. So adjust the scale frames and of this photo and just nest this photo into photo 
three name and we need a text so go to the text and just copy any text and control V I think this is a problem because the time playhead is on another message so just move the playhead empty area then control V and repeat the same process again and just copy paste your text and split as per your audio then change your text and just drag and drop the scale adjustment layer and again again you can control your text and image okay I just speed up my process because I think you don't need waste your time I just control the scale <laughs> this again and finally I just import the last slide of this tom text and just to drag and drop the scale again just again and just layer again Now you need to import the finally you need to import your logo so import your logo into premiere and dragging into the timeline I just scale this logo as per my sequence and next is photo 6 and also next my logo and I need to animate this logo next you need to drag and drop the scale and this layer into the top of this logo and the photo and control the scale keyframe and if you go to those photos okay our base is okay now go to logo and we don't we want to animate this logo by scale so I just copy this scale add the similar into the logo nested sequence and add we active the v2 layer for paste adjustment layer now you can get the same scale properties here now i just scale down little bit our logo and also control this adjustment layer scale graph okay now your base storm uh, in draw in premiere is okay i think it's very easy and uh, very useful for your YouTube videos or any your channels and I just uh, just darken our image by using the black video because we want to highlight our logo and just decrease the opacity of this 
black video now your basic promo is okay Okay, if you press the play button, if you hit the spacebar button, you can watch the preview of your promo. Now you can control more FX, uh, you can add more FX into your, this adjustment layer like lens distortion or anything. I, I will show some example in here and I just drag and drop the lens distortion now into our adjustment layer and you can control the curvature fx curvature value like this and add a keyframe at here and here and just set the old keyframe and right button and make it base here and also control the graph of this adjustment layer sorry in the graph of this keyframe now if you hit the space button you can watch your preview hope you enjoy thank you for watching and hit the subscribe button if you use for this video and if you want any video please comment it below and have a nice day